Hello, my dear friends. Uh, this is a painty cat, and uh, my name is Catherine. Today uh, we will continue to paint by number. Uh, we already started, and uh, I spent a little bit more time. Uh, let me share you the whole view, how it's looking now. Uh, this flower I already painted. Let's see, coloring checklist, and you can see the whole um, final view, final result, as uh, you can um, have it in the end of the work. You can check if it's looking the same. Uh, it's looking still a little bit different because, because I'm painting in um, freestyle blending. Uh, let me fix uh, canvas, stretched canvas. Uh, I will check for stretching now. I will fix it uh, just because uh, I like when it's uh, not moving on my ta table. It's just, uh, you know, better to see how work going. Uh, also, I have in this kit three brushes. I already uh, showed it before. Uh, biggest one I never used. I don't need it. Um, mostly I use number two and number one, the smallest one. Uh, this is painting paints by itself. And uh, I will continue today with this uh, flower. This is Aster, uh, Aster's flower. Uh, and uh, uh, paints in kit, it's packed in this uh, small um, bags. This is varnish. It's still inside, see? Uh, so when you want it to use, uh, you need to open it, put it in the container and then use it. Mm, I didn't open the varnish yet because I didn't complete painting still. Uh, so what about f uh, freestyle blending? Uh, you probably already know what is a paint by number because um, Hello, hello my dear friends. Uh, I see chat now, also I can see chat, uh, so I'm glad you joined me. Today, um, paint by number. Uh, it's just a following instruction. You see number, for example, 13. You see number on canvas. Here we have uh, lines and numbers. And you just put the proper color in area it's marked. Easy, right? And in the end, you will get exactly this view. But I don't really like um, sometimes two sharp lines between uh, areas. What to do? Uh, this is my own method, my own uh, way of painting. What I'm doing? Uh, I easily can understand what petal I'm painting right now. So I can check. Uh, let me see, this is a big one. Aha! Uh -huh. This area I'm painting now. So this is the same petal, see? So I'm just blending a little bit, two colors together, and voila! It's looking like solid shape without any uh, sharp line between. So in the end, you will get not just painting by number, you will get the painting looking as just a usual normal artist uh, work, artist uh, painting. Also, I don't use water. Uh, when we changing colors, Right, uh, we usually uh, need to clean our brush, but I don't like it. I'm using uh, this kind of uh, napkins, or whatever it's called in uh, English. Uh, it's wet, look, right? And you can clean very easily, completely. So when you're changing color, really... Uh, in different shade. For example, for mm, pink palette, you don't need to clean all the time. You don't need to, because look, it was number three now. 
Now I will put a little bit brush inside, right? And I can continue without whole complete cleaning of brush. But if I will choose next green, um, I don't like mixing uh, greens and pink because uh, it will give us uh, dirty uh, shades, can give us dirty shades. So in this time you can clean uh, your brush with uh, exactly, thank you very much, it's uh, wet wipes. So you can clean a uh, brush just with wipe. Why I like it? Because honestly, when I'm um, relaxing in the evening, um, when my kids are already sleeping, uh, when I'm relaxing, I like to um, paint and watch some uh, movies same time. I have no TV, uh, no TV set, I mean, as a box, uh, but uh, I have a computer. And uh, when I'm painting, I'm sitting really close to it. Sometimes uh, I also have, you know, close uh, keyboard and everything and mouse. And um, it's really risky to keep water uh, in the same table. You know, just one movement and you bash, splash the water all around. It's uh, running, cleaning. And... Um, with time, I decided just not to take water at all. Uh, let me notice to what color is it. It's white and it's number 14. Actually, I need to open it. Uh, so I decided to use uh, wet wipes instead of water. And what I noticed, it's also giving uh, the better result with painting, painting because uh, when you... Uh, cleaning by water, uh, you taking sometimes too much water on your brush and um, after it you can't uh, get the same, uh, I don't know, proper word, I need to, you know, I need to <laughs> learn better English, really. Um, sometimes if uh, we have too much water inside of painting, it's not covering uh, numbers well and uh, it's happening if you splashing your brush but not uh, making it dry after when you're making it dry you need to have a napkin in your hand so what the point to use water and napkin same time when you can uh, use just a, a wet wipe right it's just more effective and it's also more fast in the end because you here you're doing just one uh, movement one move uh, with water and uh, napkin you're doing two so uh, we saving time we getting the better result why not <laughs> even if uh, you know technology say um, saying to us uh, clean brush when you changing color uh, it's a couple of different ways uh, to paint by number for example um, you can paint uh, one color everywhere every area then open the next one and uh, do it just color by color i did it already with my paint by number dimensions I really like this uh, producer uh, it's very nice quality and uh, it's uh, really good uh, paintings but uh, I don't like uh, mixing they have a mixing color by instruction sometimes for beginners mm, you know it can be too messy too many work uh, same time there is blurring, there is color mixing. Uh, I'd say it's not good for beginner. You can still... Yes. Uh, I can read uh, what you saying me by chat. There will be no cover you mean. Yes, exactly what I meant. Uh, we have a little bit a uh, time gap between uh, what I'm saying and uh, what uh, you can hear because uh, 
I choose better quality for a uh, video, for stream, because um, I want you to see uh, in what quality how we're going. Uh, not all areas needed uh, free blending. For example, if you see the sharp line here, here, it's just the end of petal. That's mean we blending inside of this area and inside of this area, but not between. If we will blend between, we will lose the shape of petal. That's why I really like, I just adore when uh, a company giving us a color uh, checking list. There is also the usual one, look, right? When you can check uh, if you lost some number. But it's not uh, that helpful and uh, I'm usually even not opening it. Uh, and uh, here, um, it's a local company calling MOSFA. They, by the way, can, uh, as I know, they can send uh, paint by numbers worldwide. Uh, I'll put a link uh, below the video. They have mail and you can contact them. And uh, they have not much colors. It's just, uh, as I remember, 18. Uh, and uh, about uh, on a second day of painting, I already remember it, uh, what color is what. For example, this uh, blue, um, bluish dark violet, it's uh, 17 or 18, right? Because not many numbers. Sometimes, sometimes, for example, a paint, uh, paint boy, they can put, you know, 30 30 uh, shades in one uh, paint by number. I don't need uh, so many, you know, especially when we're using free blending. Look, there is two colors, this one and this one. But when you're mixing it between, like this, while uh, color still wet, you automatically getting the middle shades also. So you're painting looking more detailed. It's looking like it have not just uh, 16, 18 colors. It's looking like it's uh, half uh, 50 colors same time. Because you're getting, you making new colors by it, by yourself, right? Look, blending, blending looking uh, very easy. Uh, it's possible to do while colors on a canvas still wet. Uh, I'm in Holland. Ah, oh, nice to meet you from Holland. I've been uh, there a couple of times. Uh, I visited Amsterdam and Rotterdam. I really uh, love uh, both cities. Do you add water into the pots to thin the paint out and make it more spreadable? Yes, uh, sometimes, as you can see, uh, I'm keeping open many colors same time. That's mean it's getting dry faster than it's needed. And uh, each time I stopping, uh, I'm making a break. For example, my little son waking up and I need to run to him, uh, make him awake, you know, make some milk, uh, nice cookies, <laughs> what kids like after a day sleep. Um, I'm taking a break course and uh, after I'm getting back and putting just one drop of water into each color and mixing it together. I will show you the process uh, as it's need to be. Let me um, choose some color for example number five. Open it. If it's not good watery like this you know not good enough i am let me show you i bring some water one drop put inside see there is small drop on water and mix it all over 
again that's it now it's good really easy spreadable and after I did it I closed the container and I can keep it till the next free time for painting so yes you need to check um, consistency of your uh, painting of your paints and keep it good uh, enough right uh, with nice uh, watery quality because it's just yes it's just more spreadable but not to not to put uh, too many water other way you will uh, not cover colors uh, numbers with a color right hello hello everyone who just joined us yeah i like the um, uh, flowers that i got it uh, on this painting by the way i um, just fall in love with first sign i um, noticed uh, this uh, painting in local store first time here we have one uh, sometimes i'm going there for brushes because uh, imagine brushes from a store for painting by number more cheap <laughs> than brushes from the locals uh, art shops i can tell you uh, i prefer to order brushes uh, from aliexpress as uh, we all i believe because it's just cheap but uh, i need to wait like uh, two weeks three weeks sometimes i need uh, brushes right now in this uh, situation i'm just running local shops and looking what i have the best and uh, i noticed brushes from um, a store for hobbies just the same quality it's also good but it's cheaper i don't know why actually look this petal i'm uh, happy with the shape and i like how it's looking it's smooth enough it's blurred enough right it's blended uh, in some areas but some areas still sharp i think it's just uh, looking natural i also checked uh, what flowers i'm painting i like to you know to know what i'm <laughs> what i'm doing <laughs> and what i'm putting at my flat after all um, I'm planning to put uh, these flowers uh, in my um, living room and uh, I found out aster that means star in Greek language and it's really a romantic story about it it's uh, about godness who had to return to her husband and her husband was the lord of uh, underground uh, kingdom it's uh, mm, I don't remember his name exactly the name of godness it's a Persephone and her husband is Aid of course it's a uh, lord of uh, death uh, kingdom of death right uh, and uh, she had to return to her husband uh, she was crying about it and she was looking at stars and last moment and the starlight was uh, reflecting in her teardrops and it's fall uh, on the ground and uh, some really uh, adorable flowers uh, was growing on those places uh, with a really uh, star effect. I think Greeks was um, thinking about star effect because uh, this kind of flowers have lots of lots of petals. And um, Chinese uh, people who also like these flowers, uh, they count it as a symbol of um, many years of life because uh, really lots of petals. Uh, and number four all the time i have to uh, take a look on the um, color list because see this sharp line it's light color it i forgot number four that's it and blur a little bit 
Um, I asked my friend who native uh, English how to call uh, the process. Is it blurring or is it blending? And uh, we found out uh, that if we blending wet colors on a canvas, then it's the blending. But if we, if I am making soft effect on the dry brush, uh, on the dry um, dyes, on dry colors, this is blurring. Uh, I also um, can make some design on Photoshop and there is also uh, blurring, this process calling blurring. So today we're doing blending, but if you don't want to blend uh, wet colors, you can also check uh, another type of mixing uh, on my channel, right? I put uh, there some uh, tutorials uh, and uh, dimensions also um, giving us instruction how to do it uh, in their uh, Paint by Number kit. See, this is uh, the back side of petal and this is upside of petal. So I don't have to blend here, this area, only here and up here. That's it, that's it. Uh, I uh, see one of our viewer today from Holland and uh, it's uh, the country where I learned my uh, English. Uh, I had friends, I was playing with them um, uh, Lord of the Ring online. I met them online and the uh, first half year I couldn't speak at all and sometimes they were speaking Holland language. Oh, it's so adorable sound, you know. <laughs> Very strange, but I, I, I just adore it. Uh, and after half a year of silence from my side, I started to speak English. So this is the way, actually, how you can improve language you like. For example, my daughter now, she studying German as well, because uh, they have a uh, duolingual uh, school. It's uh, English and a German. And uh, sometimes she playing German games as well, just to improve language. It's just fun, you know, a little bit of fun. You join, uh, you playing, uh, enjoying play process and uh, learning same time. Why not? There is, I think, it's a really huge petal, and uh, mark lines here so easily visible, I can find this big, this also uh, even huge petal, see, here. So we will blend inside of this whole big petal. Have all the numbers been completely covered or would you need to go over them again? No, uh, it's a question from chat. Yes, uh, sometimes some colors, especially uh, white and uh, red and yellow, yellow also, it have some issues uh, with the pigmentation because uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's question of pigment itself. I also working with the oil colors, it have the same issue, the same colors, uh, but here, here, Mm. Dice here, it's more, mm, it's better, have better covering than just a normal dice. So it's not transparent. I don't need to go uh, second layer or third layer. But uh, the green, green colors here, it's transparent. So uh, good quality, I'd say, from this kit, it's all reds from white to deep violet, but greens I don't really uh, like. Usually I'm doing uh, two layers anyway, 
because at second layer you're doing better blending. Uh, colors here in paint by number kits, it's uh, specially prepared for uh, by number work because if you will buy just a normal acrylic, this is acrylic dyes we're working on a paint by number kits. Um, if you will take just a normal artist acrylic, you will find it have no coverage at all. It's really ha half transparent all the time, even black, even um, some other shades, like uh, not only reds, it's uh, all uh, violets, it's uh, most greens, uh, half half uh, transparent quality. Mm. When production company mixing for us dyes uh, for paint by Naba, they put inside uh, extra uh, mediums. We have some mediums, mediums as well for paint by uh, for acrylic. You can find it at uh, art shops. It's uh, a medium to improve time of dryness. Uh, if you want to work with acrylic dye longer than 10 or 15 minutes you have to put the special medium that's giving you more time to work with wet acrylic also it's a special medium to make it more glossy or matte if you pref prefer uh, matte more also it's a special medium to uh, improve coverage also you put uh, some special medium inside of uh, dye and uh, getting better coverage. It's also possible to find. Uh, so when a production company, good, okay, good production company mixing colors for us, they uh, making their own recipe with a percent how much mediums they have to put inside uh, you know, to find the balance right, to find uh, good coverage plus uh, enough time for, for work plus uh, still uh, good color because uh, mediums also, it can affect uh, color itself. Uh, I already did some experiments with the mediums uh, because we have Okay, we had to do with art uh, in art school. We also uh, learned uh, how to mix and work uh, with uh, acrylic mediums. So I uh, have some of my own uh, recipes how to do it. Um, maybe later I'll show you a tutorial how to do it. With some practice, you know, uh, you can get better coverage. Uh, even uh, with uh, any uh, paint by number uh, dies as well, right? It's just a question of uh, your experience with the medium mixing. This petal I almost completed. See, color still wet a little bit, right? So. I'm just mixing it together and uh, pink color is just you know have coverage enough not to get back again later to this area that's it that's it I think this aster looking just perfect just awesome you know I'm so tired from grayish and uh, yellow uh, landscape in my window. Today it's the first day we have really natural winter. First day. Uh, it started as a rain. It was all grey again from the morning and now it's just uh, like three hours past. It's all white. We have so much snow. Oh, unbelievable. I'm getting really tired from this uh, monochromic uh, 
colors of nature. So in winter time, I'm not choosing, <laughs> you know, seasonal uh, paintings with a Santa and uh, something like that. But Santa's uh, painting with Santa, I like. Okay, this is I like because Santa not white, white and gray, but uh, just winter landscapes. I don't don't like to paint by number in winter because I I just have enough of it. In nature, uh, there is number two. Let's spread it a bit. That's it. And while it's still wet, mixing a bit. See, it's just. A little bit softer. Ah. I also have a friend of mine from uh, Germany. She have a name. Uh, no, name. Her name is Aster. I will think about it. Maybe I will paint the same painting for her as well as a present. Ah, too bad. I haven't named flower for myself. We have no flower, Catherine, right? Uh, as I know, uh, um, Czech country, in Czech country, um, I don't know exactly the name of country, by the way, but I know it's Bohemian, something like that, maybe. Uh, they calling Esther as uh, autumn roses because in uh, this time when we have blooming asters there is no roses already because um, asters can handle uh, cold weather and it's still blooming imagine roses getting frozen and they not blooming after first uh, cold weather but asters still blooming because uh, it's came from Alps it's a uh, Alp flower too much pink see it spread it too too far and I just put a little bit a little bit number three back that's it I think uh, painting that did that done with uh, this way looking more artistic and it's have more your um, unique style of painting than just uh, by number um, work we did it's not that hard that you can think about it from first time uh, some of my students uh, I also have some students who not uh, doing by number painting, but just uh, studying how to paint with a normal art. Uh, they also training with this kind of uh, hobby because it's giving nice practice with the work on a canvas. Uh, we have a different uh, feeling when you're painting on paper and painting on uh, canvas. Canvas, I'd say, um, let me see this area, that's it, and spread a little bit, mix a little bit, and that's it. Uh, canvas have some different. Um, for example, it's getting our uh, dyes inside. When you want to create some volume uh, areas, for example, if you check uh, like Van Gogh um, painting, he was painting sometimes with palette knife even, so um, you can see some uh, volume areas, right, uh, that have bump on the canvas. Uh, you will try, if you will try to, uh, to uh, repeat it, on paint by number, you will find out then after some time when uh, dyes getting dry, you're losing bump effect. 
and uh, with again with some practice you will understand how to get it back so even if uh, my students learning how to um, uh, be an artist right uh, they also working sometimes with this kind of hobby kits and you know it's just another kind of uh, painting for example I'm really getting tired when I'm doing my own um, paintings my own projects uh, you can find on my channel um, also not by number paintings right they uh, which I'm doing by myself my own ones uh, and I'm getting tired because I need to think what I'm doing actually right when you mm, uh, choosing paint by number work it's just uh, pure rest and what I also love about it you can stop in any moment just in any moment I can't do it uh, with oil painting for example or with a normal acrylic painting because uh, I have to be sure I've done the process because uh, some things wouldn't not possible to do after time have passed right so as a young mom I just uh, sometimes you know I have no time to for my own um, arts and uh, I think for any moms or uh, for um, uh, people who want to create some beauty uh, you know to get back to art process time by time this is just a perfect uh, thing to choose you can just you know just close uh, all uh, containers go do whatever you want and then just get back and uh, continue a si uh, same uh, same place you left your painting that's it uh, I can explain you why I have this small see this small uh, pieces of dyes that already dry why it's inside of containers it's by the way really important thing uh, let me show you for example this container we always have some dye on cap and it's getting dry faster because it's thin, thin layer of dye uh, you have to clean it see this kind of dye already dry completely and you can clean it because if some color stuck there you can't let me clean it uh, that's it that's how small pieces getting into uh, container because if there are too many dry color here you can't close this container completely there will be a thin line that not closed and some mm, air will always go into the container with a color and after for example one or two weeks when you will decide to get back to your work you will find out uh, all colors completely dry and you will you know surprised uh, you closed everything right but colors not in a proper condition uh, that's because you need to clean up the uh, caps in time you know to keep an eye on it that's it and uh, if you're doing it cleaning caps you know uh, dropping some water here to make a nice uh, consistency of uh, color mm, some colors some good quality kits uh, I can handle I can have it at my home for years some uh, dyes uh, already I keep like for three years I just started uh, two and a half years ago first time I uh, got it uh, as a present for um, I believe my birthday uh, my sister bring it to me uh, because I was 
pregnant, I was uh, waiting for my son and uh, I had nothing to do, <laughs> just laying and watching TV and uh, I couldn't um, paint because it's not healthy to breathe, you know, oil um, liquids. Uh, and she bring me, uh, brought me uh, first paint by number kit, told me uh, it's just uh, awesome and I would be surprised how easy and fun it is. And I, you know, I was, <laughs> really I was, <laughs> how it is it and fun. And uh, now I already shared to you my um, uh, videos about 16 uh, paintings by number at my house. Even more I have at my husband's work, uh, there is uh, more than 20, I think. I have not enough walls already at my flat to put all them on, uh, you know, on walls. And I don't like to keep it uh, in, uh, you know, not visible uh, somewhere uh, under my bed or somewhere to, to just to keep ready uh, works. So I found uh, my husband work. They have just a white empty, uh, lots of white and empty walls because it's just an office. So uh, I put it there. It's more than 20 already. I need to go there and make for you some video, some fun video to demonstrate how really, you know, office uh, looking just more cozy <laughs> when you have there some paintings. And my husband like it, really. And people who also working there, they told me it's just awesome idea to put some uh, paintings there. That's it. This paint, uh, this petal done. Uh, this one also. Uh, I will check by color um, checking list what to do next. Maybe this one. What do you think? Uh, and let me check time. And soon my little son will wake up. So I will run to him. Also, I have a daughter, she is 15 already, and she is a art school student, so she learning how to paint uh, just uh, real art. Um, she can't paint by number yet, first because, because she have no time for it. She always running, she have lots of uh, homework and uh, all this from school. Mm, so I'd say it's a hobby for people who want uh, relaxing and same time, I'd say productive hobby because uh, I also, one time I was a fan of um, seed beads and uh, I noticed uh, I just can't show things I did with seed beads to, you know, to use it as a decoration. And because it's too small, it's looking too jewelry. Uh, and I wanted, you know, what I can share with my kids. For example, my son, my small one, um, he already wants to paint with me. I really doubt uh, he uh, will want to make some seed bead uh, jewelry <laughs> with me and it's a needle and thread you know it's uh, really hard but um, small kids also like also like uh, painting by number because it's uh, the way to get realistic painting some uh, productive companies uh, really doing so realistic uh, paintings you know as I say, said before, it's a dimension, uh, first of all, of course, uh, but they a little bit hard. So I also had some experience to um, order from AliExpress, from China, but I don't like quality, to be honest. Sometimes even canvas uh, had like a bad smell, like too chemical. 
Mm, hobby had have to be safe for kids. That's just the first thing what I'm thinking about. And acrylic dye, it's absolutely safe. And Mosfa, this uh, company, they even uh, have a certificated safe uh, safeness of uh, their um, acryl they're using for it. Very nice of them. Mm, this is a really sharp area. I think it's like a uh, next petal, maybe. I'm not sure. Sometimes when uh, sometimes when I uh, can't understand what I'm painting, I have to find original art. It's not that hard as you can think. It's um, possible to find artist work as it was painting not by number but uh, as original one and uh, i can check what i'm doing looking on original i'm mixing uh, just a normal art and uh, this kind of uh, art i think it's uh, very nice you know going with uh, together again because uh, i can spend evening with pleasure Watch some, <laughs> uh, watch some movie or even carton. I like some of them. Movies mostly, of course. But I don't like just uh, laying down on a sofa and watching TV. And in the end, you know, uh, time going, you just uh, painting a little bit and after uh, like uh, one or two weeks depends of your uh, speed you're getting just awesome interior uh, art or just awesome present i also like to color it as a presentation or uh, as a present for my friends presentation it's another meaning that's it what do you think i think it's looking nice Let's check the hole, because I think it's time for me to go now, but I will continue to stream some of process of it, to share to you how it's going and how the uh, painting looking in the end. Let's see, I fixed uh, the canvas uh, with a type, because, you know, for better fixing. Look, what do you think? I think it's awesome, right? It's even looking better than we have here from company. Very realistic, very soft, bright colors, nice quality. Guys, uh, come back to me on my next streams. For me, it's time to go now. Was really happy to see you all uh, on my channel. Bye-bye.